Welcome in. My name's Josh and today we're talking about pipelines and kit bashing. So what is kit bashing? What's a pipeline? Kit bashing is the use of multiple software resources, called kits, to create a finished piece. A pipeline is the organizational name used to describe the process of kit bashing. If kit bashing is like words, then pipelines are like sentences. It's kind of like photo bashing 2.0. Photo bashing, all you're doing is mixing photos together. In kit bashing, you're mixing together everything you can think of, which typically involves rendering engines and 3D suites. A pipeline is just the order in which you use the suites to get the desired look you want in your finished piece. So as an example, you start off in Photoshop where you get your composition and your thumbnail and your sketch figured out. After that, you take it in 3D coat and you get your hero asset. After you get your hero asset, you go into Daz and you get your character model. After your character model, you take it all into Octane and you render it all together into the scene. And then at the very end, you go back to Photoshop where you do your paint over and your final edits. Now the industry has their own secret pipelines and kit bashing techniques that they do to create finished pieces and everybody wants to know what those industry standard pipelines are. But since pipeline is really just the order of kit bashing and kit bashing is really just the use of different softwares and different softwares come out all the time, the pipelines are constantly changing as technology continues to advance. Now I might be thinking this is ridiculous, why do they use so many different pieces of software when they can just do it all in Photoshop or do it all in 3D? Like why do they keep trying to mix and match all these different things when they could just use one software. Instead of trying to get one massive program that does everything okay, the industry uses a concert of specialized suites to max out every possible aspect of their work. But for commoners like us, this can get pretty expensive. Even though 3D softwares are slowly becoming more affordable with more subscription-based monthly payment option plans coming into place, it's still really, really pricey for the average artist. Top tier industry pipelines have top tier price tags. So if we're not totally loaded, what can we do? We can find the best pipeline that fits our budget, which is still pretty expensive, but not as expensive if you tried to mimic the industry exactly. So I'm gonna show you what pipeline I use. So first up, Photoshop. No ifs, ands, or buts about it. You need it, it's the industry standard. 10 bucks a month. For polygonal modeling, start with Blender. And it's free. And unlike most free things, Blender doesn't suck. Because of its price point, there's a lot of novice and beginner artists tampering with Blender, and because of that, there's a huge community devoted to helping new modelers who are just trying to figure out what this whole 3D thing is. So great, great place to start with the beginner. After you go from there, you know, you can go to Moto, you can go to 3ds Max, you can go to Maya, but start with Blender and get your feet wet. And it's free, so if you don't have a lot of money, start with Blender. All right, for sculpting, we need 3D coat. It's $3.79 for a perpetual license. Kind of pricey, but not as pricey as ZBrush, and that's kind of the point. At first I was kind of sketched out because it wasn't ZBrush, but after hearing qualified artists like Eitan Zana and Jamma Jurabev talk about it and even teach a little bit on it, I was like, all right, maybe this actually is worth it. And it's amazing. It's a super, super, super powerful voxel modeling sculpting software. It is so powerful, it's insane. Can't recommend it enough. If you want to do characters, you need to get ZBrush eventually. You can't get around it. While you're at it, get Marvelous Designer too, because they go hand in hand. But for environment concepts art, 3D code is more than enough. More than enough. It's super, super good. For rendering engine, we need to get Octane. Octane is $3.99. Also kind of pricey, but again, not as bad as Keyshot. Octane is GPU based, which is awesome because instead of having to wait for your render time, since it goes off of your GPU instead of your CPU, almost all of the renders are in real time. So it's really, really cool to be able to see what you're rendering as you're working on it in real time, which is a huge, huge value. It also is really, really good for lighting. Last but not least, we have Daz. Daz is also free. It's great. Daz is just a software that lets you take human 3D models and pose them into whatever scenes you need to. So they're really, really good for characters and getting correct anatomy and perspective and putting them in your 3D scene. You'll paint over them almost always, but they're a good block-in for the human figure. So in total, this bootstrap pipeline comes out to $778, which is really just Octane and 3D Coat, and a $10 monthly bill for Photoshop. Now it's still a bit hefty, but it's considerably cheaper than the alternative. Well that's it for this Technical Tuesday, thanks so much for watching. If this helped you and you liked it, be sure to like, comment, subscribe, check out my social media, all that stuff, and I'll see you next week.